When it comes to coding great trading bots and building good systems, one of the key components to success is data. More specifically, price data, also known as OHLC, which stands for open, high, low, close. Basically, we'll have a timestamp of those open, high, low, close prices of that instrument, and sometimes even data providers provide volume as well on that timestamp. So for example, uh, for if we had minute timestamps, we would know the open, high, low, close, and volume price every minute uh, according to the timestamp in a data file. These data files could be text files or CSV or even JSON or Excel. Usually, for the most part, they're CSV or text files. You want to get a feel on how well your trading strategy performs historically and in the future. And you usually use price data to be able to test that. There's no guarantee that it's going to do well in a live environment or in the future, but it's better than having no data at all and trading live blindly. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three different ways on how to get historical data for free so you can backtest on a budget. Now, with that being said, the word free, there is going to be some limitations when getting this data. And at the end of the video, I'll show you some paid data sources where you can get some better high quality data that you're going to have to pay for, obviously. But these three methods will be free so you can backtest on a budget and get started for a low price. And before we get started, hi, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code automated trading systems in the futures market to hopefully make a return for me with my own capital. If you want to work with me, there's some links in the description below. Okay, so the first way you're going to get free data is Kinetic. So Kinetic is a data feed offered exclusively through NinjaTrader, which is a platform I use to run my automated trading systems. And it's completely free. You can download NinjaTrader for free and connect to Kinetic for free as well. I'm going to show you how to do that and then we'll talk about some of the limitations. So you download NinjaTrader, which their website is ninjatrader.com. And this is the sort of the home screen or the, they call it the control center for NinjaTrader. Now to connect to your free Kinetic data feed, you just go to the connections menu at the top left here and it will say Kinetic end of day free. And that should automatically pop up and you just click it to connect. You'll see at the bottom left, you'll have a green circle, which means it's a, su a successful connection. And then you have free data. So if you pull up a chart, so I'll go to new chart, let's pull up um, ES futures, which is the S&P 500 E-mini futures. And we select day, which is one of the limitations. You only get daily bars. You can't get minute data or tick data. Uh, the free version only provides uh, daily bars. But if I do day and hit OK, we can see we get data. We can see the bars, the open, high, low, close prices, and we're able to get it. And we can actually run back test with this for free. So to back test in NinjaTrader, uh, the top left, you would hit new. And their back, back testing tool is called Strategy Analyzer. So you would hit new Strategy Analyzer. Then this would be the screen that you get. And you would select your strategy at the top right. So say you had code strategies or you coded your own. You could pick one. So I'll just leave this LunchBot automated one up. Um, we'll put in our instrument. So we'll do ES futures again, which is the S&P 500 E-mini futures. And for the data series, we'll select day. So I'll just hit day and then hit run to run the back test. Uh, looks like no trades happened, but data came through. Let me switch a strategy where we'll get some trades. Uh, let's try, let's pick, hmm. Let's try that. Okay, so we get a back test trade, a sell short and buy to cover. We get results, $600 in profit. And this was all for free, right? This was downloading NinjaTrader for free and connecting to Kinetic end of day free. Once again, the biggest limitation to this is it's only daily bars and you can't stream real time data either. So basically you can use it for free for back testing, but if you wanna go live in even a paper account or a SIM account, uh, you'll, you'll have to find another data source and, and either pay for Connect or find another one. So once again, lots of limitations, but it is free. You can get started and build you know systems using daily bars. And then when you're more comfortable or maybe you're in a better financial position, um, you can purchase Kinetic or another data feed. But that's the first way on how to get free data. You download into Trader for free and built in exclusively is that Kinetic end of day free option. And you can back test strategies um, as long as they're on a daily bar or higher. So you could do monthly bars or weekly bars if you wanted to, but um, you could not go less than a day. So you couldn't go to minute or hours or ticks, but it's a great starter option for getting a free data source for back testing.
The second method of getting free data to backtest is AlphaVantage. Their website is alphavantage.co and they're an API or an application programmer interface to retrieve data from multiple different either stocks, cryptocurrencies, Forex, and other instruments uh, for free. All you have to do is sign up, get an API key, and you can start retrieving data. If you click on the documentation here, you can actually see that you can get intraday data. So this is one of the benefits over Kinetic is for free, you can get uh, intraday data. I mean, you can get minute uh, and maybe second data. I'm not sure I haven't delved into it too much. It looks like actually uh, the lowest interval you can get is one minute data. Now this is for stocks, of course. I believe uh, you can get futures and Forex data as well, but you won't be able to get them on um, a minute basis. With that being said, there's a lot of you know um, different endpoints you can use, like fundamental data, like company overviews and income statements and balance sheets. They support Forex, cryptocurrencies, uh, commodities, which would be futures, um, some economic indicators like GDP and CPI. And you can even actually get indicators through an API uh, if you want to, if you don't want to uh, calculate yourself locally, you could be able to get those indicators uh, for free. So once again, this is all for free. You just have to sign up and make an account and, and get an API key. I'm going to show you some code, how to retrieve or do a, a base retrieval of minute data using AlphaVantage API. All right. So the third way to get free historical data to backtest is with TradingView. So TradingView is a charting platform as a website and you can chart a lot of different instruments and you can actually backtest and get free data. All you have to do is sign up for an account, which is free and you don't have to pay anything. So I'm going to show you how all you got to do is type in a symbol at the top left. So I typed in SPY, which is the SP 500 ETF, and that will bring up a chart. And then all you have to do is use their strategy tester tool at the bottom. So at the bottom, you'll see strategy tester. You just click that and you can load a strategy. Let me load a new one here. If I can figure that out, uh, let's see here. Have one loaded already. Oh, here we go. Settings. I don't even know how to remove this strategy to show you guys. Oh, here we go. Click X there. Okay. So the strategy tester tool, you can do load your strategy. You can either code one yourself or use one of their templates. So here's the bar up down strategy. I'll just select that and that will apply the strategy. We can see the trades here all for free. Once again, we don't have to pay for this or use this and we get a performance summary and of course the buy and sell signals. Now that's a template to code our own strategy. Uh, you would use the pine editor to uh, essentially add a strategy. Um, so you don't want to do an indicator, you do a whole strategy and there's obviously ways to code that. Maybe I'll make a separate video on how to code your own trading view strategy, but I don't use trading view. Like I said, I use Ninja trader uh, platform, but yeah, you could code your own strategies here and back test them and get historical data for free. And yeah, without paying anything, so you can get started on a budget and be able to back test through trading view. One of the benefits of trading view, once again, over kinetic, the free data, you can get minute data for free and back test on more granular, granular data. Uh, however, I think the limitations are you can't just, you can't go as far back. Um, with the free version, you're going to have to pay for the trading view pro version, which I believe is $30 a month to get more, uh, back data back to like 2018 or sorry, 2008 to, to back test with more data. So that's only one of the downsides, but a great online platform, you don't have to download anything, which I guess is nice, but personally, I don't use trading view. It has a lot of limitations when it comes to the executions and trading portion of it, but a good way to back test for free and get free historical data. Now, as an honorable mention to another free way to get historical data is with TD Ameritrade. So with TD Ameritrade, all you have to do, I believe, is fund an account and the data is essentially free associated with that. As long as you fund the account, uh, you'll get data and you won't need to pay a monthly or yearly fee. With that being said, there is some limitations. Number one, you can only get stock and options data. And obviously TD Ameritrade only accepts American residents. Um, but yeah, you can only get stocks and options and the data is also filtered, meaning that you'll find the open and closed prices will be a little bit different than say IB or Kinetic. And that's because TD filters the prices uh, be essentially to save money. They don't wanna know every single trade or every single tick. So you'll see that the prices are a little bit off and even in the charts in TOS and Thinkorswim will be different from the 
um, TD data uh, through their API. So that's another honorable mention. Um, it's not that great, but it is another option if you use TD. So that's four ways, or I guess, yeah, I guess four ways to get free historical data. Now, in terms of the paid sense, personally, I use Kinetic, obviously, because I use NinjaTrader, and it's very fast, and it's very easy to set up. You know, uh, once you pay for Kinetic, it's kind of already built in uh, to NinjaTrader. You just add it as a connection and put your login details, and it's great. It's awesome for streaming data, for backtesting, all that great stuff. There's also IB, which is a little bit cheaper than Kinetic. If you have an Interactive Brokers account, you can purchase data through IB. And when you connect your Interactive Brokers account either to NinjaTrader or you have your own infrastructure, you'll be able to query um, historical data to backtest. So that's another option. It is a little bit slower than Kinetic, unfortunately, but it is cheaper. So, you know, there there is a trade off with it. But um, Kinetic is, I think, around $65, $70 a month. And IB is for stock data, real time and back testing. I think it's like 15 a month for non-professional and like hundred dollars a month if you're a professional. Futures data I think is around that same range uh, as well. So that's an option for you. Um, there's also IQ feed and actually Kinetic is a white labeled version of IQ feed. And what that means is that basically Kinetic is IQ feed, but they've just done some branding and some different I think they've just done branding on top of that to have their own their own data feed. But IQ feed is another great option. It's very fast and pretty cheap. It's not too much um, and a, a great way to backtest strategies and get very fast, reliable data. So those are the three kind of paid versions I would take a look at. I recommend Kinetic. That's what I use. I've been using it for years. It's fast, reliable and great. And my back tests are quick and retrieving data is quick. And I've never had connection issues when um, trading live. But um, those are the options. I've, I've used IB as well, but um, I switched to Kinetic just because it's faster. So those are some paid options, but hopefully you found some value in this video and you learned some different ways to get free historical data to backtest. With that being said, you know, backtesting is a great way, once again, is a great way to evaluate performance of a strategy, but there's no, there's no guarantee that it's gonna do well in the future and you wanna do other steps to you know, ensure that using walk forward optimization, testing out of sample, Monte Carlo analysis. And once again, I teach that all my course, which is in the description below, if you wanna learn more on how to be an expert algo trader. So that's the video guys, hope you found value. Let me know in the comments below if you did or didn't, and we'll see you next week.